Hello everyone again. Well, I saw in this small uh, little screw. It's a great for a C axis. I have selling another different ones. This is different to the one that I selling. This is a uh, eight threads per inch. Eight threads per inch. Uh, included the anti back flash nut, absolutely no play. It's very nice turning. This is new, but you know, I've been uh, storage, and when I put it back and on, back in and on, and I mean, I just make few little markings here, but it's new. But I wouldn't sell by use anyway. And I'm including the uh, mounting flange flank. There's a plenty of holes in there, so when you attach this in here, you're able to mount in like a new aluminum, and then just tighten three different holes so you have plenty or if you want to use for different purpose I mean it's a nice piece let me tell you the dimension of this guy the overall length is 9 inches little bit of 9 inches. Let me remove the, this one to make sure what exactly is. It's, uh, yeah, 9 inches of length. The diameter of the, of the lead screw is Five eighths. The bearings uh, mounting is half inch in both ends. The uh, anti backflash knot is two parts with the spring and it's measured about one inch and a three quarters a little bit over the flange is two inches in diameter so this is could be nice I mean for and this have a head screw so whatever when you're setting this up all the way to the end you are able to to uh, create a pressure with a, a hex is two hex screws to touch the the thread and don't let them go anywhere so this definitely turning very smooth I mean absolutely no play no back no back no back backlash at all and if you see the the way it's a threading, threading, this is like a, this is made like a for left. But you know, if you decide, if you use as a as a uh, Z axis, that doesn't matter. I mean, it's it's nice. So I want to sell the whole thing including the uh, the flange and everything for just $17.99 and let me tell you um, let me tell you what's going to be the shipping cost 
I always have to let me tell you what she must gonna be. I always try to be very reasonable in the in the you know shipping cost. This baby weight uh, 12 pounds so if it's 12 pounds I mean I'm sorry it's probably 12 pounds uh, it's 13 ounces unpack so when I packaging I probably need to charge seven dollars for for shipping but what I'm gonna do is I want to remove the flange and uh, if I'm able to fit in a small flat rate box I send it over that and if not I going to let me actually figure it out right now I'm sorry for delay but I hope you wait for me for a second in front of you because I want just enough to tell you that I am a seller that I don't want to take advantage of the shipping. I mean I hate when somebody sells something to me and they charge too much for the shipping. I hope this guy fits in there, let me tell you. Yes, it's fitting there. So, so seven dollars for shipping and seventeen ninety nine the entire thing uh, seven dollars because it's about five fifteen five twenty for the small Friday box the rest is for the packaging and handling I have to drive to the postal office I live in a small village in the East Mountain, New Mexico, and I have to drive to the several miles for the P.O. Box, I mean for the uh, Postal Office, so I tell you what it is, 8 thread per inch, 5 uh, eighths, the um, diameter of the screw is in like new condition, it's very nice, and half inch for the mountain bearings and this is the larger one so you can hook your motor from here so well $17.99 and $7 shipping in small flat rate box USPS priority mail thank you for watching and I take a few pictures